There used to be a cartoon in which the professor, I think it was, was it that Bullwinkle? Anyways, there's a, uh, one of the characters in the cartoon would always say, uh, it reminds me of the time when I was uh, in the Congo, blah, blah, blah. And then he'd go off on a little story. Every cartoon, every uh, show, ep every episode, he'd have a different story to tell. And then, uh, so I, when I go to, uh, when I come here to Ro Rolling Hills Covenant Church, that, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, Byron McDonald is a pastor here. And he always has a story about when he was in Indonesia or in the Congo or in uh, Mozambique or wherever. I mean, uh, I wonder how many countries he's been in. I don't know how old he is. He must be in his 70s, maybe. But he apparently travels, uh, you know, several times a year. Although it was funny or ironic because he just told today... Uh, he, he told more than one travel story, but today he also told a story about London. And it sounded like he had been, uh, he had recently been in London just for the first time. He didn't know what, the, what was meant by mind the gap. And then later, uh, near the end of the ceremony, he told a story about being in the Congo. <laughs> so he likes to talk about his traveling. He's kind of I think he kind of likes being sort of a high on the economic scale pastor. But I, it does concern me, uh, it does concern me that what will happen to Rolling Hills Covenant as we pass by right now without Byron McDonald. Because I was, uh, part of the Crystal Cathedral for many years and once Robert Schuller tried to step down or hand off the reins to his son uh, that's when chaos began and eventually you know everybody knows what happened I'm just wondering I don't I've never seen Byron's family members up there I don't I don't see that happening that he's trying to pull them into the leadership he mentioned them once in a while apparently his children and grandchildren here at the high school his children here in the area and grandchildren at the high school uh, occasionally I I don't go here that you know on a re uh, regular basis I mean, a periodic basis, I should say. But occasionally you'll, there'll be a, an associate pastor there. I don't know who it is now. But, I mean, it's so few and far between. I wonder, is there enough for an associate pastor to to be, to feel like he's making, he or she's making a difference, even if they're getting a good salary, you know, if you're not being part of the regular leadership at different events, you know, that's kind of hard to be content. I see that with a, uh, the Saddleback Church. They have these satellite, all these many satellite locations, and then you have the pastors. There, There's pastors at the satellite locations, but all they basically do is stand up, introduce, say hello, a few words, and then they they pass it over to the video screen where Rick Warren or one of the special guests of Rick Warren is preaching on the video. And I wonder, I mean, that, even though those satellite pastors are probably getting a nice salary, if you, if you just like the easy life in that regard, then maybe you like it. But as far as meaningful participation or, or leadership, it's got to be a little um, dissatisfying or unfulfilling. So now uh, I just wonder what will happen to Rolling Hills Covenant without Byron. And I'm just asking that, you know, people 
pray about that because if the whole church revolves around one dynamic or iconic pastor um, it's not healthy even though it's it's comfortable and I think especially at this church the the elder members like it that way and I don't I'm, I mean it doesn't I'm comfortable just sitting there listening to the sermon and his little stories but is it healthy is it really healthy for all of us as the young and the old I don't know if there's they're making room for the young to come up and to thrive in at the church giving them meaningful positions and roles even most of the deacons and elders and ushers and all that they're mostly elderly too so seems to have an elderly bent Christ cathedral is like that as well and so let us uh, pray about that so that whatever god's will be done hear our prayer lord in the name of the father son and holy spirit